Hi guys, my name is Ray. Uh, I work here at Canvas Party. I'm uh, looking after three stages, which are uh, the startup uh, stage, as well as e-commerce, big data, and education 2.0 with social media in there as well, which is the hit party stage, as well as the main O2 uh, entrepreneur stage. And today we'll get a, a sneak preview into um, what the team does behind the scenes, and uh, I think it'll be really interesting. Uh, so let's go and interview them. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thanks. Could you tell us uh, what's it like to work on such a huge project like Campus Party? It's amazing. So it's um, really busy. I don't think I've stopped since I took over this project in about uh, March. Um, loads of fun, uh, loads of really complex thinking from first principles type conversations and type thinking, which is really good fun. And um, yeah, fantastic, fantastic team, fantastic challenge. Yeah, really good. Okay, as you said, it's huge. The challenges just come in every single day, every hour. Early today, my uh, responsibilities jump from editing the website, copywriting a uh, blog post, working on new graphics, and then contacting big, awesome companies who have great products and trying to get them to come to Campus Party as well to showcase to all the tech community what, we can offer, what they can offer. Could you give Campus Eros three reasons why they should come to Campus Party in Europe and London? London. Only three? <laughs> Goodness me! Um, I can give you my top three. So first of all, yeah. it's, it's all about the content for me. So um, we've got some fantastic speakers coming, uh, entrepreneurs who have failed and then failed again, but then succeeded are on the verge of something absolutely huge. So I think their journeys are going to be really interesting. We've got really high profile speakers, uh, David Rowan from Wired, we've got Sandy Pentland who's all over the data privacy stuff. So I think it's, it's all about the content for me, really, really compelling content. Um, but apart from that, uh, it's got to be about the people, so the networking, what can you do with 10,000 digital enthusiasts, loads of politicians and loads of big brands. The, the interesting thing that those three parties can do has to be amazing, right? So I would say that's, that's my number two. And my number three, I reckon it's got to be about the entertainment. So there's going to be film nights, there's going to be musicians. It's, there's going to be gaming competitions, I think, yeah, so I would go for content, networking and entertainment. The top three for me would be the amount of um, expertise that um, campuses are going to be exposed to. It's going to be a fantastic networking opportunity for campuses and also the entertainment side of it and competition. They'll be able to be involved in all these things and it's going to be a fantastic opportunity for campuses. What is your favourite content at Campus Party Europe? Well, I always try and go for a bit of change. I think it would be really obvious to go for entrepreneurs or uh, robotics, but I like the sound of modding. I've got to be honest with you, I don't know a lot about modding. I gather it's when you put different bits of hardware together to make something really new. I like the idea of a phone that can also um, make a cake, for example. So I think it's about, it's about modding for me. I think there's quite a few, um, but for me I would say I'm really, really interested in the music side of it because I am an artist myself and so I would like to see the different um, speakers that they have in design, photo, video, etc. And also, of course, um, entrepreneurs. Um, I have a heart for entrepreneurship and um, would like to be an entrepreneur one day and so for me that's, those are the two stages that really touch my heart. What are you and the Campus Party team working on this month? Oh my god, it's all about the travel right now. I, I mean, I don't even work in months, I've got to be honest. I work in days, and today what's on our mind is travel. So we've got to get loads of people from loads of different European cities to London, uh, all on the same day, and without really knowing too much right now. So we're having to do a lot of complex forecasting, um, we're having to really decide how we get people from the Canaries, who it's a bit more difficult because they're in Ireland a long way away, and how we get people from Manchester. So uh, really complicated and lots of it, again, it's thinking from first principles, So, um, but really interesting. It's all about the travel. Uh, so this month has only started, but uh, this morning, for example, I was at a, a higher education institution talking about research projects, some of the ways that we look into new markets, new products, how do we find new markets and products, and how do we bring those skills to market. That was very interesting talking to that university about how they are researching things that we could use. 
Uh, only yesterday I was much more involved with the smart metering program. Uh, next week I'm looking at some digital policing and digital emergency services. Uh, also next week I'm visiting a couple more universities who are very interested in campus party. What's the one thing that you must have in your tent? A kettle. Because, uh, you know how some people chain smoke? <laughs> well I chain tea. I, ju I have to, I've, before I've got to work I've normally had about 10 cups of tea. So I would not be able to live without a kettle, and it would have to be green tech-wise. It would have to be solar powered, or yeah, or a wind-up kettle. I need a wind-up or a solar powered kettle. Charger. I know that my phone can only last 24 hours, but I do love it. I use it all the time, and I'm never more than two meters outside of it. It's not going to be so useful as a brick. So definitely a charger of yeah. some sort. And I would say my Harry <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, in my tent, I'd have somebody who would help to look after me, but <laughs> equally have a, a friend who I would like to get to know better and hopefully have a long life association. The tents are great because it brings people together in a different way, but it also means you can have some sleep between those few hours of exciting entertainment and skills development.